torquing keel bolts. Step one, gonna remove this settee. It's on a gimbal and it does move around, but it has to come up so you can get to that floorboard. Pretty simple. There's six screws in here. If you notice, I marked them with a pencil so I know where they're going back approximately and I'll line them up later. Okay, so I unscrewed that settee. It's now free and out of the way. There's the holes here and the mess. I think that would make this just a tad bit easier. Now these are gonna come out. And the rest of this should be pretty easy to get to. I'm hoping this one comes off pretty easy. But the bolts are under here. Yeah. It have okay, we're set at about 205 right here. We'll start there, even though we can go more. So we wanna give it a shot here? That's good, Anthony. He's a really good videographer. He's a little shaky, but I needed the help. I gotta clean this bilge area too when I'm done with this whole project. So I borrowed the torque wrench and the 36 millimeter to get it to socket. So uh, I so saved myself a lot of money. Sorry about the shaking. What, this one? That one. We're not done, are we? No. We're doing it in increments, guys. That way we know how, for sure, how, how tight it is or isn't. Okay, go ahead. Don't do that. There's 175 and needs your foot off it. He's a high school football player, 13 and a half shoe. You okay? And he's about okay, 190 Dad? pounds right now. And uh, we use those legs that he practiced all summer with. Pushing that sled. Okay. Push. Dad, I just heard your back crack or something. Huh? I swear I just heard your back crack or something. It's not my back. Oh. He's just worried about me. One down. 24 Two million down. to go. Two down. Wow. These two are being very helpful today. I wish it was always like this, but it's not. They're Let me set this back to 175. I just want to hear it click. Okay, go ahead. Look at that. Keep going. I can't wait until you sir. Ah. Yeah. How far are we sitting on this thing? Go ahead. Okay, that's 175. And it turned the quarter to a half a turn. Ooh, it's cold. It's chilly. Two five to ten. I'm beaming, boys. Ready? Get a foot in there. Okay, that's two five to ten. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Room here. Just don't punch me in the balls with your foot. No. <laughs> that would be silly. Okay, push it. Made a good choice with Good. those heavy what? shoes. Okay. There we go. Oh. Two ten. Hang on. 
Is this the last one? Yep. Thank God. Hang on, stop. This one's probably not even at 150. No, that's nothing. Hang on. Stop. <laughs> Tens. The other ones are under here, which apparently we can't get to, but we'll try. Okay, so we got all of them. There's four here and one there. If there's any more, they're actually underneath in the head, which we won't be able to get to. And uh, that's about it. We got good help. Oh. This is chipped. I oh, know. Some of the bolts are actually at 150 foot pounds versus 203. Let me see if I can get some glue. And can you move your hand, uh, your, uh, what? Get some can you move your leg? So that'll glue back in place like that. Thanks. Well, I don't think I'd want to talk these to 389 foot pounds. That's an awful Stupid, lot. Stupid, huh? I guess. And Crappy floor. The floor is broken. It's that laminate floor. That's never going to stay, even if I glue it. I mean, it might. So we're going to actually put this thing back together. It's a miscellaneous hardware here. Of course, this camera doesn't want to zoom or focus. But anyways, I think you might be able to see the lines I drew here. The lines are kind of important because you got to know where you're going to mock these. You got a line here, otherwise you're going to be drilling extra holes here. Nobody wants to do that. So I get you to the next spot in a minute. I think you guys know how to put a hole and put excuse me, put a screw in a hole. So hang on. I'm again. I'm alone by myself with no camera. Please hit like and subscribe if you liked the video.